Um, in the same spirit, we have been supported uh, by another of the major federal agencies in this space, the Institute of Museum and Library Services. And uh, this has been one of the great pleasures of the project, has been getting to work with and know one of the nation's leading librarians. She's uh, directed city libraries. She's been a state librarian. She's also Susan Hildreth, the director of the IMLS. Um, and she was an initial member of our steering committee. Uh, to her uh, credit, she stepped down from the steering committee um, while the IMLS was um, thinking through making this gift. But uh, Susan, even though you have not in recent months been on the steering committee, you've been an extraordinarily important voice uh, to this effort. And we are very grateful to welcome you to the stage and grateful for your generosity. Well, thank you, John, for that uh, acknowledgement. It really has been an honor working on this project. And yes, I had to forego my steering committee membership due to the <coughs> angst of my general counsel, but I knew DPLA probably wanted our federal dollars and I could still uh, be coaching from the sidelines, right? So that's what I decided to do. And we're really pleased to be support supporting this effort. Um, I would also uh, like to acknowledge um, the leadership of Chairman Leach in really providing this major gift uh, for the Digital Hubs pilot. So I, I really appreciate that, uh, and I think it really sets the framework for our partnership and work together. Now, uh, IMLS did not make as, as high a contribution as NEH, but when you think about it, IMLS over the years has really set the groundwork for much of the work that we're doing because both our library services and technology dollars through the state libraries, as well as some efforts directly by IMLS, have really helped create a lot of this material, the digitized content, and also really our metadata that we're working with now. So I'm very proud of the contribution that IMLS has been able to make to this effort, and we will continue to be a strong partner. Um, I just wanted to note that over the past decade, all of our cultural heritage institutions have invested heavily in the creation and collection of digital content, books, photos, audio and video, maps, newspapers, virtually everything you can imagine are now digitized and online. And at the same time, these same entities have actively developed and collected born digital content. The growth in born digital content with the advent at, with the advent of big data projects and the wholesale migration from traditional to digital media is just speeding up every day as we go along. So we know all these riches are available, but not readily, directly, and consistently available online. We have not fully realized the potential of technology to cross boundaries, and that's what I think DPLA really will be able to achieve. So what are some of those boundaries when we think about those challenging boundaries, institutional boundaries? We hope to link museums, archives, and libraries together through the DPLA infrastructure. Uh, geographic boundaries. We want to make sure all our localities from states to towns and counties are linked. And also, I think, most importantly for our users, our customers, our visitors, our patrons, thematic boundaries. Because really, what people want are stories. And think of the power of our being able to bring together all the content that's somewhat disparate at this point uh, into themed um, searches or themed activities for folks to get engaged in. It's really exciting to me. Linking the content from a map collection to a book collection to objects in our museums and libraries is really an exciting way of engaging the public. And that's what all of our users here want us to do. That's what they're expecting. So with the support of NEH and IMLS, we are really excited about the Digital Hubs pilot. Now, we're going to have a lot of discussion about that today, and we heard some about it tomorrow, so I'm not going to go into a huge uh, discussion about the Digital Hubs pilot. It's a very exciting, important investment, and it's building on the infrastructure that we have in this country. And we have identified seven regions where there is capacity to really enhance what they're doing to help bring that digital content online. But, but what I want to share is what I saw happening yesterday. I know not all of you were here yesterday, but we had some intensive work in our work groups. And I was, I was very pleased to see everyone having a much better understanding of the Digital Hubs pilot approach, building on capacity, but I also was very excited to see 
that many of the participants want to take our work a step further. They want to identify a way for libraries, museums, archives who may not be included in some of these pilot hub areas to really have a way, an on-ramp to get into the digital public library. And I know there are several of us here who are committed on, to work on that, and I really think it's a, it, if we can make that happen, it's a major step forward, because we all know that some of our small, less resourced institutions have great material, and they really need some help in getting that material able to be discovered by the country at large. And I really believe we're going to make that happen. And hopefully, when we get to the April kickoff session, we'll have figured out a way to do it. I'm sure we will, and IMLS is committed to working on that. So it's been an honor to be part of this effort. And you know, initially, I, I used to say that I was cautiously optimistic. And John wanted me to drop the cautiously, and I'm dropping it today. I'm totally optimistic. <laughs> Susan, you're awesome. You just made my month by uh, take, dropping the cautiously. That's so good. Um, and I completely agree that the $250,000 that um, you're contributing is crucial, and it's a wonderful statement, but it is also, in a way, the least of what IMLS has been doing for this effort, both through driving standards in important ways and all of that infrastructural support and, frankly, dollars that you give out um, through the states is, is a crucial piece that we are leveraging here, I think, with the strategy that we've adopted. So thank you.